In this video, we're going to talk about Lightcraft Jet Set app, which turns your iPhone into a camera tracker for virtual production. Real quick, you're watching VP Land. Special thanks to our sponsors for helping make our NEB coverage possible, Blackmagic and Atomos. And now back to the video. I'm here with Joshua from Lightcraft. Thanks, Joshua. Hi. Um, all right, so explain what we've got going on here. Okay, so we're Lightcraft Jet Set, and we have the Jet Set virtual production app, and it's running currently on the iPhone right here. Uh, let me just switch this to full CG for a second. So you can see on the background here, we've got full camera tracking, and it's all coming from the phone. So we're using the phone LiDAR and accelerometer, and we can do tracking for virtual production, and then you can also use that with your cinema camera. So you're not limited to just using the phone. It's uh, it's a full virtual production system. Right. There's a lot going right. on here. Right, because we've seen a bunch of solutions where you can do virtual production tracking in the phone and record with your phone. But this is using the phone as a tracker for whatever camera you attach to it. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. So this, the way that works is through calibration. We're working, working with, with uh, Axoon CMO Pros because they're the only and probably the best way to get video from your main cinema camera into the iPhone. And there's a couple of things that we can do with that functionality. One of them is the calibration. This is how we do our lens calibration. So we get both the video from the iPhone and from the CMO, from the main cinema camera, and it will search for common track points between the two and solve for your focal length. Uh, between what the phone scene and what your actual cinema lens is seeing. the actual focal length okay. is. And that's how it calculates first your focal length, lens distortion, and tracking offset between the phone and the camera. Well. So we're not tracking currently. So you're saying it's all kind of like automatic? Mm -hmm. You yeah. don't have to like manually like do all this calibration? I haven't had to do much here. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> it's an easy job. Um, <laughs> yeah, so you can see here, we're getting all the track points just up. Oh, so this is already picking up and everything that is tracking. And this is between right the two, these are the two different lenses? What? Yes, exactly. The so iPhone and... Uh, iPhone right there, and then uh, the Axion CMO right down there. So any camera that can go into the CMO Pro, HDMI, ah. uh, they will allow for that kind of calibration. Okay, that's uh, awesome. Not to mention, the new thing that we're about to start showing here yeah. is Genlock through the phone. So through the CMO Pro, we can get timecode uh, embedded in both the video and tracking signal from the phone the, and the main cinema camera. It's all going through the iPhone. And then that can pipe into, say, Unreal for a live render preview for lighting preview on set. And it will be perfectly genlocked synced. That is right. That, that, so that was be my other question because right now, so like, is it good with that addition with genlock? Are we going to be able to do uh, like if you're on right now? We have a green screen, but an LED wall. Like, get uh, use this as uh, for final pixel. You could like, use the tracking data from the phone in order to do camera tracking and for in camera visual effects. Um, and I think also the calibration as well. So yeah. that would be really useful for that. Yeah. Yeah. But is that being able like? Are we going to get real-time tracking enough where if you had an LED wall or a TV or a projector and you're displaying your background, you're going to get the tracking uh, feedback like real-time so you could shoot? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, the, I mean, the, the tracking data is going to be going to be really quick and yeah, you can solve that kind of problem. Absolutely. And then, but if you don't have that set up, you're doing green screen or something else, you can use this to just get the tracking data and then bring that Absolutely. to your compositing you can create those composites live for preview or and as well of course you'll be recording on your main cinema camera so if you want to do your post work you can actually get a really really nice composite a nice key and then and you do that with the live tracking data as well so you get it's basically just if you want to do visual effects or virtual production or uh, anything it's, and it's for that yeah. and, and you don't want to get a whole tracker but, um, but the base level for this app yeah. is free. So if you were, say, just want to use the phone itself, uh -huh. so you wanted to film on uh, on the iPhone in HD, and you want to bring in your own mods, your own 3D scenes, load them in, record takes because it's you know you can record with the phone, uh, and then send those back through to your software package. Or if you're using After Effects or Blender or Unreal, and I think also Nuke as well, and DaVinci is coming. Uh, uh, we know people, leak, they like their packages. People, we're not going to take people away from their the compositing and post-production packages. They, they like what they use, so we're just going to accommodate that. We speak in that language. Uh, what are some projects or things that you've seen of people being able to do some much more accessible virtual production? Absolutely. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We, well, I mean, we have some demos right here, actually. We've got some video uh, here. Actually, do you want to... Do you want to uh, pass it off. Maybe it's a good time we could do one of the demos. Yeah, of course. Daniel, would you like to operate some X Wing yeah, demo sure. and yeah. get uh, someone yeah. signed? So he's currently being green keyed out within the phone right now. 
And uh, we've also got a garbage map set up, so uh -huh. we don't see anything out outside of the green screen. The green screen's tiny. So you can do virtual production in a really yeah, small space. Yeah, so he's just space. sitting down right here in the little tiny green screen. Yeah, it looks like he's yeah, reading a newspaper, he's in an X-Wing, and also, you know, there's this occlusion as well, so he's being, you know, blocked by scene geometry as well. And this is, again, this is for preview. Uh -huh. You could record these takes. When you record them in the phone, it records both the clean feed from the phone and the CG. So if you want to do compositing with just the iPhone, you can also do that. Or you could record on your cinema camera and then composite with the CG as well. It's so flexible. It really is. <laughs> All right. So that was a lot of options. And um, do you always have to load in your Unreal scene or if you just wanted to, um, if you had it connected to your computer or something running Unreal? It's much better to load it into the phone. So you, we don't do the, we don't do streaming into the phone because it can introduce a lot of problems. You can introduce latency problems because you have the models in the phone and phones are very, uh, well, they've got good processors. You don't have any like, I mean, he's, he's locked in position in the phone in here and we don't have to think at all about whether or not he's going to be drifting around. It doesn't happen yeah. because I mean, if you're running on a lower end iPhone, just to add a little cooler in the back, but it works. Right. And actually, so speaking of models, what models uh, does this work on? iPhone or? Uh, yeah, it, I think you can use, I mean, we're using the iPhone 15 Pro, uh, Pro Max, but it does work on previous models. I think probably 13 is where we would start. But again, the older the iPhone, uh, the more intense it will be on the processor. And maybe you won't be able to load in quite as big scenes, but it does work. So yeah, oh, that's yeah, good enough. <laughs> and uh, it's, uh, the pricing is like a subscription model. What's, uh, what's the pricing? It is subscription starts at free, of course, like I mentioned. But the, uh, the next tiers up go to, uh, at the moment, it goes to JetSense Cine, which is the top package, which is 80 a month. And that allows and that's you, what we saw where you're using the phone as a tracker. Exactly. On top. For the camera. Oh, for, the, for, for a separate main, camera. For the main cinema camera. 4K, it unlocks, Genlock, uh, right. lenses, the, the whole the whole lanyards. It's all in Cine, and that's 80 a month. That's awesome. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> what, uh, just in general, what, what other excitements do you have for uh, virtual production? And like, what do you kind of see this unlocking for virtual well, production in the future? So people who work in lower end budgets or indie budgets, this is huge because it really does open a late, uh, it opens a virtual production to so many people and they can start experimenting with film ideas that they had that they never thought they could actually achieve. Uh, I think people have the tendency to have a big idea and then quickly shut it down in their mind because they just go, well, I don't have the budget for that. And I don't want to spend years to secure the budget for that. This unlocks that ability to just go, not just do it, quickly do it yourself as well you can you can workshop ideas you can create oh i've got an idea for a film you don't just have to you don't have to get your full production together to start seeing things come together yeah. you can go well i want to see that and i want to try it and does that work and then you that can influence your script so you don't it, it's a whole different world to being able linear to production. see so quickly what you want what your idea are and then keep it right in Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, that's uh, what I'm finding on my productions. It's just so much more fluid. You come up with an idea, if something doesn't work, you try again, you can come up with a full storyboard, a test the whole movie in rough. With a little with a little green screen. Yeah. In a little studio. In, in your homes, in your, in your living rooms. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Um, that's awesome. And I think just maybe to recap the two, because I don't know if we clearly stated, the two different apps and what the differences are in the pricing. First option is just JetSet. It's our free app that anyone can download on iPhone. It allows you to shoot on the uh, iPhone in HD with uh, your own scenes. And you can, it, there's a full workflow available for you to shoot and send your scenes back through to Blender or Unreal and, and master them yourself. So there is a, there's a nice, uh, a nice workflow there. For so you do a workflow just, there for free. You don't have to pay for anything. Anything you get there, yeah. yeah, exactly. I, but then the next tier up is JetSet. Pro, which allows you to shoot in 4K on the phone yeah. and also unlocks a few more functions like uh, LiDAR scanning. And uh, they, it, it's, uh, it's a nice way of, of just opening up the, the functions of, of the free version. Is that what we were seeing before or is that something different? The, the LiDAR scanning, what is that? What is oh, that, yeah. that was calibration we saw a second ago. So we'll get to that with Cine. Okay. That was the um, uh, track points here. Yeah, okay. What is the LiDAR scanning? How to. Yeah, yeah, on -site. On -site. Uh, LiDAR scanning can allow you to create a, if you're using the iPhone LiDAR sensor, then you can create a scan of your environment, which could be useful when you get through to post to know the scale of your environment, for instance. That's okay, so it's like a 3D model. Yeah, it will, create, your, it will create a sort of rudimentary 3D uh, of this, model. Of the physical space you're okay. in. Yeah, the space you were shooting in. Yeah, okay. exactly. Understood, got it. Um, other features with the Pro? 
Yeah. Uh, yeah, other features with the Pro, you can use uh, optical markers, which allow you to set your uh, origin on the floor. So you can actually place these down and, uh, and the, uh, the app will be able to detect exactly the same origin. So if you need to reset your position, these are really useful for that. Um, then there's also, uh, so there's LiDAR scanning, which we, uh, which we mentioned, and also ability to remote uh, trigger animations from within the app as well. Any uh, okay. yeah. so really is would that be kind of like the X-Wing fighter? That we saw like that with that yeah so if you wanted to see your your animations that you've created in blender and unreal come to life in the phone for when you're shooting and uh and you so you can frame and uh, compose an image accordingly that would be the best way of doing that's that cool. and the pricing of pro uh the pricing of pro is 20 dollars a month okay and then after that there's the jet set cine which is uh 80 a month but that unlocks all of the features that we are presenting right here uh at nab so those features are things like genlock lens calibration, which I showed you a moment ago, the ability to use your own cinema camera. Uh, it's a, it becomes a full professional uh, virtual production machine at that point. And where can people learn more about uh, Lightcraft? Yep, we can learn more about Lightcraft at lightcraft.pro, and that's where we've got everything from pricing options as well as a whole host of documentation and loads of tutorials just in case anyone wants to find out more about how it all works. Cool. Well, thanks a lot, Joshua. No sure. Nice to meet you. Likewise. And that is it for this video. Be sure to check out the rest of our NAB coverage over here at this playlist and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. I will catch you in the next episode.